In Creole Parametric, a circular reference occurs when one object is both the parent and child of another object in an assembly. Here we have an old assembly. I went into model check. This actually dates from 1996, and it's got a circular reference. You can tell that because in the notification center, we have a yellow flag that tells us we have a circular reference. Let's close this. Also, if you take a look at the top node in the model tree, there is a yellow triangle, which tells us the same thing, that we have a circular reference. So how do we take care of the circular reference? First, we need to figure out where it is. And to do that, we can use the reference viewer, which you can access right from the model tab. It's also available from the tools tab. Now I can see in here, okay, there's some missing model. Well, that's not great. But again, I'm here to deal with the circular reference. Let's go to the paths tab. Here we see a circular path. And there I can see the little symbol indicating the circular reference. We can click to display the path. Now, so I can see that the parent object here is a curve called 45 degree section. And then there's curve ID 40 in this particular part. And then there's another curve, curve ID 1093. So those are the different objects involved in this. And we can right click, oops, I meant to right click. And we can choose to display the full path. And here we can see that, okay, here's the assembly. And then there's a curve and it points here. And we have the curve ID 40 in this part looks up to the assembly and there we can see the circular path that we have over here so again the curve 40 is looking at this curve over here so those are the different objects let's try to figure out what is going on with these different objects so let's find them let's close out of there and then close out of here and so there's a curve called 45 degree section. It is currently not visible. So let's use the show button. And it looks like it's basically a curve from a cross section. I can verify that by trying to edit definition. And I can see, okay, this uses a cross section called Vibe Probe 45. And that's the only reference that you're going to see for this kind of feature. Let's cancel out of here. I cannot see the cross section in here because the way that cross sections are generated in models was changed. I don't remember, maybe it was around Wildfire 4.0 or so. In order to see the older cross sections, I need to start off and use cross section. I'll click on the section tool and it tells me, hey, the pre existing planar and offset sections have been converted to the new format. Great. Let's cancel out of creating a cross section. That's just a little trick that I know for getting the older cross sections back in the model. So again, this particular curve is used by, or excuse me, uses this per sec particular section in order to create it. All right, so let's see what was the part that had the issue. I can right click on the curve and we can go to information and then reference viewer and we can see that here we have its parent here we have okay it's curve id 40 in this b sallow 6jb part and if you want to try to figure out where this particular part is let me just take a look at some of the letters in here okay so let's see it's got vib 45 let's do a search in the model tree to try to figure out where that component is VIB 45 and there we can see here is the part with that in the name let's open this up in its own separate window in order to investigate all right so I take a look at this particular part everything is hidden let's go to the layers let's show all the layers let me click the close button and then let's refit everything to the screen. And this is weird. This is a part that just has some datum features in it. And then here's curve ID 40. Okay, so that looks a lot like the cross section. And then we have this curve ID 1093, which I guess references this curve. And again, if you want to do some more investigation, you can always right click and go to information reference viewer. 
and we can see that okay this curve references that 45 degree section curve and the order in which these features appear is odd and by the way if i try to edit definition cannot redefine this feature select again i assume that this is a curve that was copied and pasted i think i mentioned that this model dates back to 1996 this might actually predate copy geometry features in a moment i'm going to replace this curve with a copy geometry feature but let's take care of the circular reference and one way that you could do it this part doesn't create any geometry. I'm not sure what it is used for. Maybe this curve is used as a reference to create some other component somewhere. But again, I don't know what this particular part is doing. In the real world, I would probably delete this part because again, it has no geometry. I don't see what it is doing in here. But let's go back to the assembly and let's get rid of the search in the model tree. And so here's the part, it's still highlighted, identified in the model tree. I'm gonna expand it so we can see that. Here we have curve ID 40, which is used as a reference for curve ID 1093. But the parent of this curve is the 45 degree section curve, which appears after it in the model tree. So I think that essentially is the problem. We have a parent appearing later in the model tree than its child. We can probably take care of this by doing some reordering. And here we have another part here, which again just has some datum geometry. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna reorder these curves. I must take care of all these curves at the same time. Let me make this one visible. Here we have a group with another curve in there. Let's just reorder all these curves to appear before the parts with CRV in the name. So I'm going to use the control key to select these different objects. Then we can go to operations, reorder, and that brings open a dialog box for the new location. Right now, the target feature collector is active. Let's reorder these to appear let's see after this part and then we can click the OK or middle mouse button and looks like the reordering happened and let's try regenerating to update the model hey the little yellow flag in the notification center went away the little yellow triangle went away as well so that ended up getting rid of the circular reference let's hide some of this stuff again I want to take care though of that copied curve in the part it allows me to show you a, another technique to use actually it's not this part let's see it's this part over here that has the curve let's activate this one and access hide all the stuff so I can make sure I'm selecting the right stuff what I want to create is a copy geometry feature that contains the geometry from the 45 degree section curve. There are a lot of entities in there. Let me show you a quick shortcut for grabbing all those different things. So again, I've got this particular part activated. Let's create a copy geometry feature. I will go to the references tab. And so let's activate the chain collector. That's how you can select different curves. And if I wanted to, I could grab this curve and hold down the control key and try to grab all the other different entities that come from that 45 degree section curve. But there's an easier way and it's by using the details button. I'll click on the details button and instead of standard, we can change to rule based. And then I'm going to start off by changing the button to all curves in a particular feature. Now we will select the anchor and here we have the curve and that way it grabs all the other different entities from that curve called 45 degree section which you can see is a little bit grayed out kind of hard to read but that is an easy way of grabbing all the different curves in that curve i always like to rename the copy geometry feature so i know what it's referencing 
hit the enter key so it accepts the name then I can hit the check mark and so now let's open up this part in its own separate window again and right now we have the 45 degree section I'm gonna reorder this to appear above curve ID 40 so that I can reassign some different references and let me hide the curve itself so that right now I'm only seeing the copy geometry feature and then we have the curve that references it in another video I showed how to use the replace references command that's what we'll do once more and right now it is highlighting I can see a little in green this is the original entity and I can choose the entity from the copy geometry feature that should replace it and there are a lot of different entities in here it looks like 14 different entities so let me start replacing a bunch of these different entities once I can figure out where they are All right, I have selected alternate references from the copy geometry feature for all the children that were using entities from curve ID 40. Let's click the OK button. And now I should be able to go to curve ID 40. Let's try to delete it. Hey, it says highlighted features will be deleted doesn't say anything else will be deleted so this will end up getting rid of that curve and everything that was referencing the curve is now referencing the copy geometry feature one of the nice things about the copy geometry feature is you can change the update control so for example you could use manual update or manual updates with notification and that's especially useful if stuff is already released I can see that this has some indication that it is in production so we probably don't want this updating now why would a part consisting only of curves be in production I have no idea but that is a little bit of a better way to handle things rather than using copy and paste with curves save my changes let's go back over here and there are a few other issues that I find with this particular assembly might as well show uh, taking care of them so for example I can see that there is a suppressed part inside of here I can see that this is also a family table if I check out the family table I can see that there are only two instances but this one has underscore DRW in the name I think someone created a family table instance just for showing stuff on the drawing and if I take a look at the differences between this particular instance and the one above it in the model tree or the generic the only difference is that really does not include that suppressed part seal house machine blah 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 so I am going to resume that part really the way that this should be handled is with a simplified rep so I'm just going to delete this particular row let's confirm the deletion and I can probably you know I only have one instance in the family table I should probably get rid of that single instance really doesn't seem to make sense but let's click the OK button out of there and let's bring back this suppressed part let's click the resume icon from the mini toolbar and if you don't want this appearing in a drawing we can do that with a simplified rep let's go to the view manager and let's create a new simplified rep let's call this drawing and right now everything has the default rule of exclude let's change everything to the master rep except for oops just trying to find that one part let's exclude this one and I'll choose the open button and that way that part is not visible in this particular simplified rep and you can use that simplified rep to appear in different drawing views instead let's click the close button out of there so that's just a few extra things to take care of in this assembly model there's some other messy stuff for example if we go and click the regenerate button 
So everything has been regenerated, but it's got that permanent status that says that stuff needs to be regenerated. You can also go to the regeneration manager. When I do that, it says, hey, there are no modified features found. We can click the OK button. There's nothing listed in the regeneration manager in terms of what needs to be updated. But as soon as I click cancel out of there, we get that regenerate status again because there's some messy modeling inside of here. But again, for dealing with the circular reference, we reordered the parent to appear above the child. That got rid of the circular reference and also cleaned up some of the references by using a copy geometry feature instead of a copied and pasted curve. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.